to 5k subscribers now if we can get there soon that'll just be incredible but i really hope you did enjoy it and drop it a like that'll be much appreciated but if we can get something huge here for my club it'll be incredible please ea i am begging you yes boys welcome back to this brand new fifa 21 ultimate team base icon upgrade cheapest solution video as you can see on the screen today ea have gone ahead and finally dropped the brand new base icon upgrade SBC. the mid icon SBC was meant to be coming with it but i do expect we'll see that rather now tomorrow or on black friday itself but black friday is looking very promising for fifa of course we're expecting quite a few things to come uh, mainly icon related but make sure you do stay tuned to my instagram at mccartneyyt there'll be a link in the description if you do want to go ahead and check it out we're at 111,000 followers over there now all the support is much appreciated and also the youtube support has been incredible we're at 4,650 subscribers now thank you all so so much for support on the video yesterday it was crazy but pretty much in today's video i'm going to be showing you exactly how you can complete this whole base icon upgrade for the cheapest possible price it's coming through at around the 530k mark it's quite expensive i did actually post a cheapest solution over on my instagram so if you didn't want to watch the whole video maybe go ahead and check that out but if you are new to the channel please make sure to go ahead drop a like on today's video that'll be much appreciated also make sure you do go ahead and hit the subscribe button that would also be much appreciated we're aiming for that 4.7k subscribers the main target obviously is 5k that's a huge goal for me so if we can get there soon that'll be incredible this is my current squad on the team uh, on the screen sorry so i am hoping uh icon wise i'm kind of wanting like a Eusebio, a Vieira, a Hullet, there's all sorts of cards that I do want, there's also cards that I really don't want, I hope I don't get shafted and get like an Ashley Cole or someone completely useless, but let me know if you have completed this base icon upgrade SBC, who is the best card that you actually have managed to pack, it's a very very good SBC obviously, and there's a lot of cards up for grabs, that's the best part, but you can get absolutely shafted and spend a lot of coins, which is always going to be an absolute shambles but for the first squad here as you can see on the screen isn't too expensive it's coming in at around 90k i'm pretty sure uh, so quite affordable for most people as you can see i've got leno in net fernandinho at right center back right back ricardo pereira right attacking mid jal Martinho. we've got henderson at cdm jimenez up front rodri at cdm uh, left attacking mid we've got tiago alacantara and then we've got Icardi up top with Lucas Digne at left back, Alderweireld at centre back, and then I think I already said Leno in net, but not too expensive, quite affordable for everyone. The reward for completing this one is a premium gold pack, which is awful to be honest, considering you're submitting an 85 rated squad, you'd expect the rewards to be better, but EA have absolutely shafted the rewards this year in terms of SBCs, it's just something that they've done. But some of these cards are untradeable for me, so the value isn't quite what it was. Oh, I hate when EA does this, but it kicks you out the servers, strangely. Do you know when you actually have a player in your squad or on your bench, but then you go and submit that into an SBC? For some reason, EA likes to kick you out the servers. Very, very strange, as you can see, but bear with me. I will obviously be uh, showing you exactly how you can go ahead and complete this SPC for the cheapest possible price. And let me know, did you complete any of the Icon SPCs that come out the other day? Obviously, a Van der Sar came out, a Figo. I didn't actually make a video on them. I didn't really think they were worth it at all. But yeah, let me know down below if you did go ahead and complete them. I'm just going to go ahead and remove certain items that may be used for the SPC out of my club here so we, get, so we don't have this issue. Because um, I don't really want to keep having to have that issue. It's just frustrating. But that should be good. So if we go ahead now and submit the first one, and then we can jump into the cheapest solutions for the other ones. But hopefully we can get a huge icon from this. I'm really hoping to get an icon that will go into my team and kind of be in my team for the rest of the year, no matter what. I don't want to get an icon who will be later submitting into another icon SPC later on in the year. But that's the first one completed where we got ourselves a premium gold pack. I'm not going to be opening the packs until the end, of course. But into the second one here. As you can see, fairly easy to complete again. We've got Sirigu in net. 
who I paid 4.9k for. Right centre back, we've got Godin. Left centre back, we've got Skriniar, who again, 9k, not too expensive. Berkey, I actually have untradeable in my club, so he's going to be going in at left back. We've got Forgan Hazard at left mid, who I paid 3.7k for. We've got Royce at left centre mid, who I paid 13k for. We've got Memphis Depay and Inform Volland up front. And then, of course, we've got Thomas Muller, Nabry, and Galaxy uh, right back. So, not too expensive again. Nabry's quite expensive, 10k. All, all 85 rated cards are around the 8 to 10k mark. Most 86s are around the 15 to 20k mark. And then, Inform Volland, like you see here, an 84 rated Inform for 14k. He's definitely the best option to use simply because he's an 84 rated Inform and he's not even up to the 15k value mark, which is very, very good. Very rare that you do get that as well, but certain players in the net squads are going to be duplicate items that I've already submitted, so I just need to go ahead and grab certain cards off the transfer list that I did put there before the video started. But again, it is better off that you use certain players that are already the same that you do have, obviously, because it makes sense that you use the cheaper items for each, each SVC, of course. Uh, but we've got Leno here, Alderweireld, there's quite a few cards that we'll be using for another SBC that I've got here. We've got Memphis to Pie, but I am literally copying the cheapest solution that I did post to my Instagram. So if you are wondering uh, which cheapest solution it actually is, you can check it out on my Instagram, but it doesn't really matter. Obviously I'm gonna be showing it all here in the video. But as you can see, obviously we're gonna go into the first squad here, which is the 86 rated squad. I'm just quickly going to pull the squad up so I know exactly where to put who. But it is obviously the 86 rated squad. It isn't too expensive, this one. Uh, it's coming in at 155k right now to actually complete it all. But I'm going to go ahead and throw Leno in here at right centre back. Um, quite affordable as well. I'm pretty sure he sells for like 9k, something like that. We've got Alderweireld, who we do go ahead and throw at right back. I'm just going to search centre back here and he should come up. Uh, Alderweireld, where actually is he now? Am I going blind or let me just type in Alderweireld maybe. Um, Toby Alderweireld of course. We'll go ahead. Oh, checking on the transfer market. That's what's going on. We'll go ahead and throw him in to the lineup. As you can see, he goes at right back. Then we get Marco Royce and he goes uh, right into the right centre mid spot there. Again, not too expensive. We throw him in there. Then at the middle centre mid, we've got um, Thomas Muller. Again, not too expensive. An 86 rated card that you should be able to just throw in. Um, a lot of people obviously have these cards in the club as well from like rivals. And maybe you did invest for this SBC. Let me know. Did you invest correctly? How have your investments actually gone? Um, I didn't really invest in many cards. I have a few 85s in my club, stuff like that. But I'm not really a trader. But in terms of completing this SBC, the key part for it is this Guerrero who goes in at left back. Uh, 86 rated inform for only 26k absolute bargain um, and then yeah that is a squad you can pause the video maybe and copy it it may work a bit easier for you but we'll go ahead and sub submit that which we do end up getting a two rare gold players pack in return which is very very poor rewards yet again from EA but then we are going to get a premium electrum for completing this final one as you can see I am going to be using my red inform David Silva it just kind of made sense for me I did want to save him, obviously, and submit into a premium foot champions upgrade and potentially upgrade my team with a way better foot champions card. But he's an 87 rated card. It's going to save me a bit of coins and it just makes sense for me to use him. I did pack this Handanovic yesterday in um, an 81 plus pack. Make sure you do check the video out. If you haven't seen it already, there'll be a link in the description. So he kind of helped me for this one. We have Chiellini, who I did also pack from my ultimate pack. If you want to see how to get an ultimate pack, make sure you do check the video out from yesterday. It was a good one. It'll be much appreciated. The support on it has been crazy as well. Uh, we've got Benzema at right wing, who I paid 37k for. A more expensive one. And then we've got Edison up top, who I paid 28k for. Like we say, obviously, David Silva. You could buy his inform off the market if you wanted to and use him as the inform card. But it makes sense for me. I picked up this inform Hirodeki, who's only selling for 17k. Absolute bargain. It just made complete sense to me to do that. And we'll go ahead and submit the final squad. And then we are going to be, obviously, opening these packs first and then finishing the video on the base icon upgrade itself. I really hope it can pay out. There's a lot of cards that you can get from it. It can pay out absolutely massively or you can get shafted. But I did have around 900k 
and now I've got 480 so I'm pretty sure I did complete it for around like the 400k mark something like that uh, 420k something like that it's not too expensive but compared to the price on footbin that it is reading off and for the price to complete the whole SBC overall I probably did do it for quite a good price for what I did have actually in my club but as you can see here this is going to be a two player pack which we are going to get a French right wing who is that I thought it was going to be something crazy then with the way it walks out, but uh, it's going to be Falvin in the two-player pack. Hopefully there can be something else in the pack. I don't think so, though, but it is actually tradable. So if we did get something crazy in that, that would have been absolutely crazy. We're just going to go ahead and throw them items up on the transfer market for now, though. And then we'll jump into this Electrum Players pack. I don't really expect to get anything from the pack rewards. The pack rewards in the old FIFA days for these Icon SBCs used to be so much better. You used to be rewarded with like 50k packs, 100k packs, all sorts of packs that EA did actually go ahead and release for it. But nowadays, they just kind of give you awful pack rewards. I'm not quite sure why. If you're spending 500k on an Icon SBC, I feel like it makes sense to at least give you like 200k. 150k worth in value back so kind of like at least give you a couple of 50k packs or 100k packs something like that because really who are you going to pack from like a seven and a half k pack or a premium electron players pack there's not many cards you can actually get because the packs just aren't very great really but in this seven and a half k pack we don't even manage to get a board which is absolutely awful kind of as expected though i feel like ea are saving my uh, pack look for the icon pack. I just know that that Eusebio is going to be coming out. If not Eusebio, I hope it is going to be something crazy like Hullet, Vieira, Matthias. It's all sorts of cards that I kind of do want to get from it. But I'm just praying that I get one usable card. It kind of is just the hope, but I did actually get a two players pack back from that pack. So we have another pack to open here before we do get into the icon one. We've got one more after this. We are going to go ahead and actually get a board from this. It's going to be... Is that Alaba? That's very good, actually. We'll take that 100%. That's a W. I'm not sure if it is going to be tradable, as it was a pack out of another one. It is tradable, actually. So we do get a David Alaba. He's only selling for, like, 7K now on the market. That is crazy. He's actually a very good centre-back this year, so I do recommend you go ahead and pick him up, even if it means playing him at left-back. He is a bit short for a centre-back, keep that in mind, so maybe go ahead and play him at left-back, or even as a super sub. For that price, it kind of doesn't make sense that he's that price, but 7k, yeah, highly recommend picking him up. But we are going to get into the Electrum pack here now. I'm not sure if we will get anything from this. It isn't going to be a board. It's going to be an awful left back. I didn't really expect anything from that pack anyway, but that actually was the best pack reward that you do get back from completing the Icon SBC. And that just shows you only get three rares in the pack itself and the majority of players are silver. It's just an absolute shambles in my opinion. The reward system and what you actually get back for what you put in. I think EA really do need to take a long look at it and kind of think, is that fair? But they, they never do really. But we are going to be jumping in to the icon pack now. The moment you've all waited for. I really hope you did go on to enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to drop it a like. That will be much appreciated. Also, make sure you do hit the subscribe button. We're on the way to 5k subscribers now. If we can get there soon, that will just be incredible. But I really hope you did enjoy it. And drop it a like. That will be much appreciated. But if we can get something huge here for my club, it will be incredible. Please, EA, I am begging you. It is, oh, that Nedved, oh, I don't know, is that a W or L? Comment down below. I'm not sure, you know, I feel like it could be a W because Nedved is actually quite good. He's got 90 pace, 82 shot, he's, he's actually got quite a decent card. He's not a card that I wanted, I wouldn't say. There could have been Hullet, there could have been all sorts of cards I could have got. Let me know down below if you have completed the base icon upgrade SBC and who did you actually manage to get if you did complete it. But Nedved is selling for around 400k on the market, so he isn't a cheap rubbish icon. He's actually one that people do care about, obviously. So I feel like it could have been way worse. Let me know down below, W or L, what are your thoughts? Uh, I really hope you did enjoy today's video. Drop it a like, hit the subscribe button, but that has been that. I really hope you did enjoy and peace out.